Hi everybody, Christy McLean, and we have Kellen here with us today. Um, I wanted to do a fun little mealworm investigation with you guys again. Um, quick update on our mealworm habitat. We have been observing them over the weekend. They're still in their larva stage. We've been making sure they have fresh potatoes so that they have food and water um, and their fresh oats. They're doing really well. And as soon as they start to go into that next phase of their life cycle, We'll make another video so that you guys can see what that looks like under our um, magnifying glasses because it's going to be really cool to see. All right, so what we wanted to do today is we wanted to see how mealworms respond to temperature change. So if you would like to follow along with us, in the description of the video, there is a link to a Google document. You can make a copy of it, make it your own. You can edit it in any way you want to, or you can leave it as is, and you can do this along with us. All right, Kellen, and this one's gonna be for you. Okay, buddy? Okay, all right, um, let's see. So our question today is how do mealworms respond to temperature change? Right, so let's just talk about our materials before we make a hypothesis. We're gonna have a box. We're gonna use this clear terrarium box so that you guys can see really well what happens. We're gonna have a measuring cup so that we can measure out 500 milliliters of two different temperatures of water. We're gonna have one baggie that is full of warm water, one baggie that is full of cool water. We're gonna place each of those baggies at the bottom of our box we're gonna cover it with a damp paper towel. Then we're gonna put 10 of our wonderful mealworms on top of that paper towel and we're gonna watch them for one minute and we're gonna see, do they prefer the warm temperature or the cool temperature or neither? I guess we're gonna to have to find out. What do you think they're gonna like, Kellen? Mom's the word from Kellen. He's not sure yet. He's going to wait to find out. All right, guys. So we're going to get this set up, and then we'll come back together and do it. All right? Give us just a minute. All right, guys. So we have um, got our 500 milliliters of warm water. It's on this side right here. 500 milliliters of cool water right here. What we're going to do is we're going to cover this with a damp towel. And then in just a minute here, we're gonna take our 10 mealworms and we're gonna place them on the center of the damp towel. Then we're gonna set a timer for one minute and we're gonna observe, do they prefer the hot temperature, the warm temperature, or the cool temperature? Kellen is gonna help us count our mealworms today so we make sure we have 10 exactly. All right, ready Kellen? Here we go. Nine. We're missing one. I see him. He's here. Ten. Let's get him over here. Ten. All right. Do we have ten mealworms now, Kellen? Yeah. All right. This is our warm side, and this is our cool side. Got about 15 more seconds to go. All right, and our time is up. It has been one minute. What do we see, guys? So this is our hot over here, and this is our cold. I see that there are zero mealworms on the hot side. A lot of them are inching their way towards the cool side, but we had five, because there's five left in the middle. 
five. There are five that have gone all the way over to the cool side. So pretty cool. So what can we infer now that we've made our observations? Do veal worms prefer hot or cold? Hmm. Go down on your document and um, detail your observations. So do your drawing of your observations and then make an inference. What can we infer about the mealworm's behavior?